All right, guys, let's just go ahead and hop right into this haircut. This is what we had to start with. Let's go ahead and we're gonna start off with cutting the top of the hair. So what I'm doing here is I'm using my hand instead of a comb just to make sure that the hair is getting saturated all the way to the root. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about an inch off and the front of his hair is really bulky and what we do is whenever we blow dry it up, it kind of sits at its perfect angle to where it's not too bulky but it has just enough to sit there. So now that we've done that middle section, we now have a guideline to follow back as we're cutting the rest of the top of his hair. Now I'm sure most of you guys know how to cut the top of the hair, but on this slick back type haircut, what we're going to do is we're just going to pull this out and make sure that no weight is sitting farther down than his parietal ridge or his occipital bone, as you can tell I'm holding on to right there. We want to make sure that the weight sits perfectly on top of that and still maintains the shape that we need. Whenever I'm blow drying the hair, I just try to make sure I have a brush that's guiding me in the path that I want. Right there, I'm pushing up because I want it to sit up, but on the sides, I'm really holding it close to his head and pushing and making sure that it's laying in and not flaring out so that whenever we take this three guard here in a minute, it's just gonna go right up in and off of that. And this is one of the main perks of doing block graduation or just making sure that you cut the hair first and blow dry the top. You know that whenever you take a big guard in there that it's just gonna lay in perfect. You can tell there's no harsh lines. We could use some thinning shears to touch that up right there. But if we needed to, we could just leave that. I know I didn't do block graduation on this haircut, but I have cut his hair several times and knew what I was walking into. And just real quick, I want to say thanks to all my subscribers and all my viewers. You guys have been killing it lately. My channel's been growing. I'm very satisfied with where I'm at for how long I've been putting in. And if there are any haircuts that you guys want to see, please comment below so that I can bring some content cater to you. And you guys get the point of what's going on here. We're just going to keep it consistent, following that three guard throughout, making sure that we leave the per perfect amount of weight. So now with the taper, we're going to start with the lever all the way closed. I'm just going to flick it up to about the top of the ear. Next, we will start with the lever all the way open, really making sure that we get kind of an arch shape so that the taper isn't so flat and has a little bit of flare to it. Now we're gonna grab our one guard and really I'm just kind of using the corners because the way that his hair sits, you guys can't tell right now, but whenever I show you the after, it sits very, um, let's go with unique. It almost looks see-through, but whenever you're looking at it straight on, you can tell that it's blended in the right spots. So with that being said, you'll just have to wait till the end to understand what I'm saying, but I'm trying to be very careful with digging into his hair, but we don't want to lose the shape. And all right guys, we got the main work of this taper done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our one and a half to kind of detail the top part of the fade. But next we're gonna grab our two and go in and really clean up that blend area. And what we'll have to do is we'll have to fade down just a little bit. But once you get your taper in a certain spot, you can fade down in order to keep it there without losing the shape that I've been talking about. When I get onto the back, I have the perfect way of explaining that a little bit better for you guys. And 
I didn't want to just go on a spill about what I'm doing right here. I'm going to do the same exact steps. We're always going to start with the lever all the way open, work it down halfway open and then all the way closed with the lever being all the way open with our one guard or with our half guard. Our one and a half and our two guards are still just making sure that we can lighten up in the area by his temple but still keep a certain darkness on the sides that doesn't look unusual. And all right guys, here we are on the bag. We're sitting in our bald line and you can tell his occipital bone is sitting about right here. And with that being said, we did a three around the side. So we're gonna take a two guard with the lever all the way closed up to that line where his occipital is. And we're gonna make sure that we're flicking out. And then we will open up the lever. And this is where we're gonna stop on our taper. So anything below this two guard is where we're gonna fade this hair. And the reason why we got to do this is to maintain the darkness of the side, but also make sure that we don't take the taper too high. And another thing is we used to do his hair so long, it was more of a salon style haircut, more of just a trim all over. And I've never really tapered him out except for the last time we cut it. So this was a little bit difficult for me, just trying to find my space. So it took me a little bit longer than usual, but I did understand his hair a little bit better now that I've gotten to do it a couple times. And whenever you do that with clients and you can reassure them that it is getting better every time and that you are learning their head, that, that makes them feel great. Now we're gonna go in with our half guard and really I'm gonna do a whole lot of detailing with this guard on this haircut. My one guard did not lighten up everything as needed. So to create the perfect contrast for my client's head, we're really gonna be working the lever with this half guard. If you guys have enjoyed this video so far, please consider leaving me a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. Every single thing that you guys do, every interaction really helps me out and helps me judge what I need to do moving forward. So if you would do so, I really appreciate you. And now we are done with our back taper. I know it looks like it's too dark right there in that area. I probably could have faded it up just a little bit higher, but with his occipital being right there, I didn't want to take the risk of messing up this haircut. So now that we have done our fine tuning, I'm gonna go ahead and put a line up on this and it will really show me how good this haircut looks. And now here at the end guys, I am using a two guard to lighten that up. I noticed that it was a little bit more dense looking than the rest and I did it on the other side. So I had to come back over here and make a match. I just want to show you guys that I'm not perfect and I make mistakes too. Here's the finished product guys. I hope you liked this video. Please leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. It's Cuts by Coast and I'm out of here.